Wait, who was having wait, sex wait. in the bathroom? Her, her husband and his baby mum. Yeah. Right, dumped. Oh, right. wait, no, it's not over yet. Hair like this is the press hotline. Hello, press. I don't even know how to even start this. So here goes. I met my husband back in 2018. And when we first met, we did put a title on what we were. We honestly were just friends with benefits. We were together every single day, spending the night at each other's houses with our kids. And when I first met him, I knew he was still in love with the mother of his child. And it didn't bother me because we wasn't together in a relationship. We were just friends until we decided to be in a relationship and his baby mom was in her own relationship with someone else and they broke up and his baby mom decided she wanted him back. She would show up at my house and just come and hang out. And because he had a child with her, I wanted her to be comfortable with me being around her son until her real intentions were to get back with him. Fast forward to a month later and I go through his phone and she was texting him asking if I was asleep and sending him nudes. Oh my God, what? When I confronted her, she said she didn't want my man. They were only co-parenting. Fast forward to months later and she shows up to his mum's house to pick up her son and I left out of respect. And when I came back to pick up my man, she was crying, yelling, why is she here? Make her leave. Talking about me. Huh? Crying, telling him if he really loved her, like he said, when they were in his mum's bathroom, <laughs> then he would make me leave. And he told her to go home because he was coming home with me. And when I asked if they had sex, what is she going got on? crazy. <clears throat> Wait, who was having wait, sex wait. in the bathroom? Her, her husband and his baby mum. Yeah. Right, dumped. Oh, right. wait, no, it's not over yet. Calm. Fast forward to months later, I found out I'm pregnant and he calls her to ask if he can pick up his son. She said no, but would meet, would meet him so he can spend time with him. So later that day, he tells her I was pregnant and she told him that it wasn't his baby because her boyfriend told her I had sex with him <laughs> and it was his baby. And it was his baby. So she convinced my man to break into my house and take his stuff so they could be a family. Huh? Long story short. Guys, what on earth? Listen, long story short, I have my daughter and his baby mums was so upset that we had a daughter together. She stopped letting him see his son, but was calling him and texting him, begging him to leave me and my kids to be with her. And he wouldn't leave me. So she said, she started using, if you have sex with me, you can see your son. So he did. Fast forward. Oh my God. Fast forward a couple of months. She asked for money and he said no. So she pulled up breaking windows and banging on doors, yelling at him, saying she was going to tell me everything. Brackets. Mind you, I already had a feeling because why do you only call him when I'm at work? So fast forward three years later, his now son is nine, nine, and now he put him self on child support and pays extra and she still won't allow him to see or talk to his son because he married me and changed his whole life for me and our kids and had two more kids with me this is a lot that sounds like a tyler perry movie yeah there's so many moving parts so she's a crazy baby yeah basically basically so but why is she firming it if he's sleeping with a baby yeah i think at the start, they were just friends with but benefits. But what is the dilemma? Like, what does she want us to but say? Yeah, what now? is the dilemma? She just kind of said to us, she's happy with two kids. Babe, she just me. wanted to just say that, what? She needed everyone Yeah, is, to is it like, should she leave or should she stay? Because if it's a question, leave. What? You, that's too messy. But they're married now with three kids. Why did she marry but he, him? Her though? husband's still effing the baby mum, right? Oh, no, <laughs> he's on child support now. And he doesn't, he's changed See, his life bits, around. Huh? He changed his life yeah. around to be with her and the kids. And now he just deals with the child support, but she doesn't let him see the son. The baby, the, the baby, baby mom doesn't, doesn't let him the, see the, the nine-year-old son because she's basically a bitter baby mom. But Ooh. to play devil's advocate, she can only be so bitter. He must be feeding her something. Yes, he can't that's, do, that, that's very unhinged if you're doing it without, yeah. a, you know, him giving you know, it these guys I are think mad. sometimes baby yeah. mums though, like, Ooh, coming from the fun. land of the Lulu where I used to live, um, you think I'm the first, do you know what I mean? So you will never I you will never understand him the way I understand him because I was before you. Do you know what I mean? That's ugh. 
but yeah, and I then you, you think mean. you just think like, but I know him. Like, how have you married her when I know you love me? But that's the that guy's is fault. The land of Delulu. Yeah, yeah. That but we is they need to stop doing is. that though, because I feel like there's this. It's kind of the, right. There's this like reality TV show called Love and Hip Hop. Love it. Um, Pia and Guns. The, yes, you already know. You yeah. like, I don't need to say like that whole situation. When I think of Amina and Tara, Tara gave them the the. the she was never the wife. She was the first baby mum. And she was always like, how How did you not know, Amina? I I have kids yeah, by him. I have so kids. And it's like, it's the way. girl. Like, it doesn't matter. I don't think, as, I, as if like, just because I had kids it doesn't, by him, it means I am the number one. The I was one. It doesn't. At the end of the day, he married. The other uh, one. Yeah. And I feel like. But he did always go back to Tara. Always. <sighs> Cause, Cause she would let him. Yeah. Cause that's what I mean. Like, but who wants to marry a man that just wants to, to I feel like, like I would yeah. not have married this man. No, same. So I don't know what advice she wants yeah, us to Yeah, I would to like to give. think I wouldn't do that. But I think when kids are involved, it's, it's harder. Hard kids. Yeah, yeah, must be harder. Like a baby dad, it's like you would think you have some sort of soul tie with, I assume. Mm. I mean, I don't know. I just feel like the dad needs to take control. Like, I know oh, he sounds reliable. But don't, yeah, but exactly. how does the dad take control? She seems like cool. a manipulator. Take so. it to court. Like, if you really like, but you need what, to, what, to see her yeah. son. Like he needs to, he needs to tell her like listen I want to see my ki- my son I want it to be a family unit I don't want my other children not to know their brothers and sisters if you can't find a mature way for us to settle this evenly and fair so that that they grow up in that environment and I get to see my son let's go the court route because you can't that that's half I half made that child like it doesn't matter if I'm a bad husband and bad boyfriend I want to be a good father and it's up to him to show that he wants to show up and be a good dad regardless of the mess and be a family so man up and sort your kids and your family out yeah Just, neither of them deserve it the baby mum's crazy but neither of them deserve that emotional like stress and turmoil and kids are involved that like, it's a broken family like oh, I just feel sorry for kids in situations like that because that is the adults being petty yeah because she's like been I would say really cordial and put up with a lot yeah. so I feel like but then you can't rely on this man, man. yeah yeah so I would just say, take your kids and try and do the yeah. best for you and your kids and whatever happens with that man and let him be because she shouldn't be the one to go and now try and go to yeah, the baby no, mom and be like let yeah, me I don't think that's how it's yeah it's not I wouldn't I mean, I don't know. I don't have kids, so it might be different. Yeah. Because <laughs> I feel like when you when people have kids, like it's just a holy world, isn't it? Yeah. More yeah. responsibilities. You're less selfish. I would say I'm really selfish. Mm. So yeah. And your actions actually don't know that energy trickles down to your children. Yeah. Like, they can sense it. They can see mm. it. So the best thing is trying to give them the best environment to grow up in. What's 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 with all this hostility? Like, and kids, we we clock. It's we true, know. You know. I feel well, like she's just gonna have to wait for the kids to grow up to understand more. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. There's that. 